Hello, my name is Barry Kim. I'm the RERI faculty member and serve as the coordinator of RERI Water Quality Analysis Laboratory. In 1980, the RERI lab was as catalyst to assist water quality research. But as demand for water quality analysis increased in the local community, the RERI lab has offered commercial services since 2001. Ready Lab is the only water quality analysis lab on Guam, so we try to keep supporting the community's needs as well as keep enhancing analysis services. This video introduces what we do, how we collaborate with the local community, and what we have planned to expand the lab services. Enjoy watching this video. Thank you. The Water and Environmental Research Institute of the Western Pacific, also known as WERI, was established at the University of Guam in May 1975. The role of the Institute is to facilitate and conduct high-quality research that addresses water problems and water-related phenomena, train students, teachers, and future water resource professionals, and disseminate research results to the community at large. Consistent with the regional role of the University, the Institute devotes part of its program effort to Western Pacific Islands other than Guam. It is the only research center of its type in this geographic area and endeavors to respond to the unique conditions that exist here. The Institute draws from the varied expertise of its research faculty members, University of Guam faculty, research affiliates from other universities, and local professionals. In 1980, the Wherry Water Quality Analysis Lab, also known as the Wherry Lab, was established to assist Wherry researchers in water pollutant analysis. My name is Jennifer Cruz, and I'm the laboratory manager of the Water Quality Lab. My name is Crispina Herreria Terudin, Lab Tech 3. I started at Wherry December 1985. My name is Mallory Dwayvier, and I am the chemist at the Wherry Water Quality Laboratory. My name is Lourdes Moffness. I'm a graduate student in the EV program, but I'm also a research assistant too over at the Wary Lab. The Water Quality Laboratory was first established in 1980 in House 28 of the Dean Circle, and it moved to the current Wary building in 1990. The laboratory was established to support research for water quality analysis, but in 2000, the lab was certified for the testing of total coliforms and E. coli, as well as led by Guam EPA. This was to support the lead and copper rule that US EPA had regulated. Since then, um, no other testing parameters were certified until um, we hired a chemist to, in 2016, where now we have the manpower to offer more services as far as uh, certified testing. In 2017, we added certification for the heterotrophic bacteria analysis. This was requested by many of the food establishments who are serving the military bases. At the same year, we added nitrite and nitrates in our certification. The last certification that we obtained was in 2018, which is for copper testing. I conduct instrumentation analysis as well as conduct microbiological, organic and inorganic analysis. I have to go out in the field and collect samples from all the construction sites, um, you know, new buildings new residential areas, I have to go out and collect samples for lead and bacterial tests. Part of my duties is helping make, making reagents and standards and also helping analyze the samples we get. So that includes metals analysis and nutrients analysis, in addition to uh, bacteria analysis for the water samples. Some of the instruments we have in the laboratory are the atomic absorption spectrometer, which is used for lead testing in other metals. And then we also have the flow injection analyzer that we use to analyze nutrients in water, such as nitrates, ammonia, and phosphate. We also have a gas chromatograph, which is set up for the PCB analysis 
uh, for research purposes. And of course, we have the standard lab equipment such as the pH meter and tubing meters. In addition to the total coliforms, E. coli, and heterotrophic bacteria, we also analyze enterococcus bacteria, which is uh, used to monitor surface water or recreational waters on Guam. Our customer base uh, consists of construction companies and um, consulting in companies, but we also have uh, food and beverage establishments, hotels, airlines, and other government agencies. We also serve companies and other organizations within the region, such as CNMI and FSM. Wari officially became the first Regional Water Resources Research Institute in the WRRI program by extending its mission to the Federated States of Micronesia, or FSM, in 1991, and to the Commonwealth of the Northern Marianas, or CNMI, in 1997. The designation has opened a broad new spectrum of research and service opportunities for the University of Guam. Out of the 54 water research institutes in the country, we are one of only two that have a water quality laboratory. That's one of the reasons that we are highly rated. In fact, we're one of only 12 institutes that received the top rating of outstanding in the last five year review. We've been consistently in the top rated category uh, for the last 25 years. Curie Lab has really been developed over the years uh, to support academic purposes such as research and, and student learning. And as more demand for research and study has, has come to the University of Guam, uh, we've seen investments in the lab increasing. And those investments are tangible investments like equipment and facility and uh, supplies, materials. But it also has brought us expertise. We've been able to hire lots of folks into the lab, those with specialized training in, in lab services as lab technicians. And we have our academic faculty who, through their research projects, utilize the lab and, and the resources in it. The community, um, they may not see that directly right away. Uh, we do have a number of businesses who are familiar with the lab and, and do work closely with the lab when they need tests of water quality done. With an expanded lab, that includes an expansion of resources, and that's significant to me because as a student, I find it important that um, resources are available to help educate me and, in, and further my experience as a lab and research assistant. So most of all, I think it's significant to the students um, at UOG in addition to the people of Guam. The expansion of the laboratory would help create some positions for newly graduates who are looking into environmental compliance, who are interested in laboratory analysis, and open up some positions for undergraduate internships. It has grown from just supporting research to uh, offering services to the community of Guam and the region. And it still has a lot more potential to grow and benefit more uh, students for internships and also for the local companies who need to send samples off island. The government is a beneficiary of this in its public services, the public assurance of water quality and water safety, and working with GWA uh, on some of those, uh, those water quality tests. With the future design um, plans for a, a new building for Weary, the lab space will, uh, will greatly increase and thereby will have the room for that equipment and we'll also have room for more personnel. UOG and the whole island are really fortunate to have an asset like our water quality laboratory. Besides supporting research and providing a low cost, readily accessible service to our clients and customers on the island, it leverages our local talent by providing an opportunity for students to get hands-on experience uh, 
where they'd never be able to uh, do it otherwise without going off island for it. I'm excited to see it expanding and looking forward to continuing the service that we provide to the island and to the students that train in it. It's one of UOG's crown jewels.